You sell them? Ah! Ah! Be careful. And don't let me catch you all alone again. This game here is about a psychotic ex or just general stalker, I believe, going after this girl. Don't be deceived by the graphics because it's one of those ones that is actually really good. I had to break it with Liam. I hope he takes it well. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be an ex. Was she living in a cardboard box? What the hell is this? Oh my god, my apartment. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Vibe Tribe, you're going to see why they call me uh, wifey material. Okay, watch this. So we put the pan on here and we heat it up. You see that? Should we get some food out? What are we cooking, huh? Ooh. Organic food. Okay. Questionable. Oh, wow. Just like that. Who would be knocking at my door at this hour? No one speaks like that. Who? Oh, oh golly gosh. Who would be knocking at my door at this hour? No, I feel like it's definitely English. That's not American. Americans would not say, who would be knocking at my door at this hour? Who's there? Liam. Oh, it's the ex. Let's do some role play. Where is Liam from? We've already established the character we're playing from. We're going to make her very posh and English. Okay, she's going to have a very posh English accent. What about Liam? He's from a Scottish accent. We'll do Glasgow. All right, All right I'll do Scottish. Hey, honey, how can I come in? Uh, Liam, I told you it's over. So no, you can't come in. No, wait, fuck. How do I do a Scottish accent? I come on, you, you can't leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kit. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You'll be mine soon again. All right. See you later. All right, he's gone. Sounds like he walked away. Whew. Thank God. Two minutes of organic food in the pan. And that is... That is freshly cooked. Mm, I slurped up straight from the pan. A bath to calm myself down would be great right now. I am a female with boobs and breasts, okay? I don't have anything else. So, do not look. Hey, would you look at that? An entire house as a bathroom. Lovely. Hmm, of course. What? What was that noise? Oh, golly god. Where was- where did that noise- oh, no! What is this? Give me another chance, please. I'll treat you well and I'll do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? Liam. No, no, no. I gotta leave before he does something so much worse. Hi, <coughs> Kate. Oh, no. Liam, please. Oh, Liam. You're never leaving me again. You got caught. Try again. Bro, what? Where do I go, guys? Is he in here? <coughs> huh. Hi, kid. I'm jumping off the balcony. I'm jumping off the balcony. Oh! You're never leaving me again. All right, Shrek, chill out. Run for the front door. Okay, I'm gonna run for the front door. <coughs> Hello, kid. Okay, I got out. 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 <sighs> All right, I somehow made it to my car straight from the door. Let me get my phone. Oh, sorry, I'm English. My bad. Oh no, it's 1933. I'm gonna call Grandpa. Yeah, that's who you call, not the police. Grand. Grandpa, you 95-year-old man, help me, please. Hi, Kate. What's going on? He broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away. And now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. Are you okay? I got away before he could do anything to me. But I'm terrified he'll find me. Okay. I'm assuming you're look, looking for a place to stay for a while. Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you want. However, I'm gonna be out of Trans and for one week. It's still gonna be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes. I also remember to keep the door locked. If you need to go outside, you can check the peephole first. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. I need a lifesaver. Okay. Yo, why are we why are we going to our grandpa? Maybe look cool, please. Ah! F 
fuck me. Nah, you can hear my heart beating. Listen. That was a close call. Thank God I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me anymore. Yeah, he won't be able to track your car down at all. I've finally broken free from that toxic relationship. I think that's more than toxic. The... He's followed me. Oh no, did Liam manage to follow me here? I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Yeah, neighbors come in here, right? The middle of nowhere. Your grandpa lives in a forest. Do you guys think it's Liam? Yes or no? Yep. My flashlight is a telephone. Grandpa? Is my grandpa Hugh Hefner? Like, what is this mansion? Grandpa said the key was in the flower pot, right? Oh, yes. There we go. Grandpa, you are... Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Yes. Let's lock the door. I'm guessing you get different ending depending on how you play this. Where are thou, Grandpa? Let's get the lights on in here, shall we? I'm sorry, but you're telling me my grandpa lives here. I'm over here getting chased by a psycho ex. And my grandpa's living in a, in a mansion by himself. Hello, Eddie. How you doing? Oh, it's just me, myself, and I. Should I go upstairs? Or should I turn on the lights on first? I mean, the bathroom looks pretty snazzy. Oh, what room is this? Oh, no. It's the way outside. Make sure that it's locked. He'll be gone for a week. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's getting a liver transplant. Okay, we're going upstairs. Grandpa's on a business trip. Yep, he's going to the LA Strip. Okay. So I got this entire place to myself. You're telling me they've just left a key in the flower pot? The most unsecretive place. There's only one flower pot at the very front garden. Hey, brilliant! I have found the bedroom. Let us get my tootsies up and my toes down. <laughs> Wow, I slept that long? Wait, it's 3.55 a.m. Is this a normal wake-up time for you? Is Grandpa home already? Oh, at 3.55 p.m. it must be. Because it's light outside. Don't really need a flashlight, but I kind of like the aesthetic of having my phone out, to be honest. Okay, so I, I did sleep quite long then. It's 3.55 p.m. Should I look through the keyhole? I shouldn't open the door, right? Wait, let me try to look through the windows. Whose car is that? That's not, that's not Grandpa's car. Grandpa rolls on a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Grandpa wouldn't be seen in that car. <laughs> oh, wait, as if there's no window on that side. Oh, it's a Range, range Rover. <laughs> Does Grandpa own a Range Rover? I'm unsure. <laughs> you think? You guys think it's Liam? Before we look, yes or no? Do we think it's Liam? There's no one here. Look, it it, it doesn't look that there's anyone here. Don't open the door. I have to do it, guys. I have to do it. It's it says check the door. I have to do. I have to check. Okay, let's do the main. Fuck it. Ritsu has just dropped five dollars. I am the previous owner of this mansion, and you are the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we will get along just fine. I'll be watching you. Watching me? This is strange, to say the least. I need to get back to the store before it gets dark, though. Let's be careful. Wait, that's my car. Hold up. Okay, so we have a Range Rover here, Vibe Tribe. This car is not cheap. We've got to go to work. Predictions, where should we work? Where do you guys think she works? We had a really nice flower, uh, flat apartment. We've got a Range Rover. Our grandpa's super rich. So he must work in a pretty good job. I got what? Ha so 
She's a drug dealer. What's that? Some kind of paper? Yeah, okay, you're telling me she bought a Range Rover from working in a convenience store. And, uh, okay, yeah, no, 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 makes sense, makes sense. Yep, yeah, I'm either, I'm a drug dealer or a stripper. There's, there's no other way. I'm affording that car, that apartment, and my grandpa's rich. Poster has been added to your collection. Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. Ashley, missing 1508, 2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. All right. Time to look at the shopping list. Oh, okay. We know we don't work here. We don't work here. All right. Collect items from top to bottom. We're just shopping, everybody. Oh, that Range Rover actually costs 120. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Oh, yes. Organic food. She loves that. I think she sells. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I don't think. We'll see if she actually has a job. Because I thought we were coming here to work. We're actually coming here to pick up some, some food from the supermarket. Bro, what is this diet? Canned food, snacks, soda, milk, cereal, and wine. What? This is not a diet. This is the worst diet I've ever seen in my life. Milk? Ooh, it's not even refrigerated. What kind of milk is this? Wow, premium quality wine. The, the brand is just called wine. I can't leave. Wait, can I just leave? Do I have to pay? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I could afford this car. Right, that'll that'll be. I'm just gonna do that. Wherever that accent is, I don't know what origin this accent comes from. Sound like Jar Jar Binks. Like, thank you for shopping here. Also, can I tell you're new to the area? How long are you staying here for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. Right. Have a good day. And here are your groceries. Thank you. You too. I'm sorry. If you get offended by my bad accent, then I it's it's okay. I understand. It's not a very good accent. All right. You sound bad! Ah! You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be around out here all alone. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best to remain unspoken. Be careful, and don't let me catch you all alone again. Okay. If someone said this to me in real life, this man would be dead. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. I This poor girl, by the way. Holy fuck. That's three encounters in, what, 12 hours? Poor girl. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. What's with the music? Yeah. Make sure we lock the doors. Like, I really don't understand why these guys are... Like, who goes up to someone and says, don't let me catch you all alone again? That's the dodgiest thing I've, like... Okay, well, where's the fridge? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's have a- let's have a little look at our diet here, Vibe Tribe. Canned food- Welcome home. I've been texted by an unknown number. You look beautiful today in the store. Nah, bro, what what the fuck is this? Can't wait to see you again. What town is she living in? Huh? Getting closer. Is he inside or outside? Or what if I'm already there? I'm 
here. Someone just knocked on the door. Shall I open the door? Don't really feel safe opening the door, to be honest. They're saying no. Should I try sleep? Maybe I can sleep away the pain. Like, in this kind of situation, I would just... Well, the thing is, if it was me personally, and someone was texting me like this, saying I'm home and all of that, step number one, get a weapon, okay? I have a, a really cool Japanese knife that I got for Christmas. So, I'd probably get that. It looks kind of like a dagger, all right? Get that. Next step. And make sure that the door's locked or whatever, so we're nice and safe. Step number three, call the police. Someone's outside the house. If they break into the house, hit them with the wah, 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 wah. And then wait for the police to arrive. I would not be walking around like this. Alright, I think I have to open the door, guys. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escaping from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Yeah. Fuck you, Grandpa. I'm leaving. No, not now. Start, start. Please start. Come on, why now of all times? I'm gonna guess he's tampered with the car. Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops, like right now. Yes, get a weapon first. Weapon, get a weapon. Press F to call the police. Oh, this is in America. 911. 911 dispatch, what's your emergency? Hi, I need your help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. That's an awful description of what's actually happening. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at beep, 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 beep. It's urgent. I understand. And dispatching officers at your location right now. Can you please describe the nature of these threats? They're watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help us on the way. In the meantime, try and find a safe, secure location within your home. And make sure to lock the doors. The office should be there soon. Have we got a panic room? Uh, can I hide under the bed? Where should I hide? Hide under the stairs? This is look this looks like a good hiding spot. I could lie on that blanket there and like that would be a great hiding spot, right? I would lie down there and put the blanket over me again. 10,000 IQ. Or lie in this coffin. No, I think that's too obvious. So that's designed to have people in it. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officer arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Office will be there now any second. Okay. Apparently the police are going to be here any second. Oh, here they are. Nino, 
Nino, Nino, Nino. Oh, why does it stop? Officers? It appears that everything's under control now. Our officers are apprehending a man in a white van outside your residence. We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Thank you for your help. Make sure to reach out if anything else happens. They're not even going to talk to me? The police just assume that the guy in the white van was dodgy? Phew, what a relief. Never thought I'd feel safe again. But maybe things can go back to normal now. It should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. Excuse me, am I not- the police not even gonna talk to me? Nah, that's not real police officers, man. The guy's just gone on YouTube and typed in police siren sound effect. I didn't see no lights, no cars, and they apprehended the man within two seconds. I don't see anyone. Yeah, this is just wide open, is it? Hello? Sorry. Hello? Anybody in here? Do not open. The power should be back on now. Oh, golly gosh. Another flashlight. Okay. This game is actually really good. Liam? It's not even Liam, by the way. It's some other new guy. It's the creepy neighbor. Okay, it's still locked. Whew! We are safe! I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Alright. Oh, yeah. That is a, that is a sexy bath. Let me strip naked real quick, please. Get me the... I, I want to see some ankles, honestly. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Damn. Finally. A moment of peace. Oh, look! Bubbles! But why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever. It's over now. Hmm? I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things. Let's just go to bed. I managed to have a bath without getting any water on the floor? Wow. Okay, let's double check. Everything's locked. Front doors are both locked. I don't remember closing that door. Alright. This is the worst mansion ever, by the way. There's so much wasted space. What was that noise? Hello? Grandpa definitely has a secret sex room in here. I can smell it. Okay, everything looks normal. Let's go to sleep. What's that noise?
Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. was just a nightmare. I should probably check to see how Liam is doing. What? This girl's stupid, bro. This girl's stupid, man. She has just said, I should probably check to call and see how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all of this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had just stayed with him, he would have kept me safe. What in the girl math have I just read? That is the worst logic I have ever read in my entire life. Call Liam, yes or no? Well, we're gonna get one creep to knock out the other creep. Like, I don't- Where's the brain cell? I mean, it could work. Two dumbasses, like, cutting each other out. Like... To, like, to be fair, they can both, like, it's gonna be two people stalking me, and obviously they're gonna out, like, they're gonna 1v1. And then whilst they're 1v1-ing, I'm gonna escape. I think, I honestly think this could be a strategy. Nah, I'm calling him, bro. Maybe she's onto something. <laughs> now he's airing me. Alright, bro's playing too hard to get. Okay, relax. Maybe it's for the best that he didn't answer. Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Yeah, this girl's like... I, she's not the brightest. Let's be honest, okay? She is not the brightest. The only way to be safe is uh, maybe leave this town? Yeah, get, get away from this town, okay? Okay, I mean, the house does look... Did I not say? Grandpa has a secret sex dungeon. Something looks off about that book. You found a hidden room. What is Grandpa up to, by the way? Should we open up the basement? Oh, hold up. A sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013 by her husband. Two days later, she disappeared from their home, last seen in their residence. Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in this ongoing investigation. While authorities come, uh, continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search of Ashley, where she was last seen. Look, honey, we made the news. Pretty cool, right? I can't replace you, Ashley. There was no one that is as special as you. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want to take it. I, I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other pl uh, options. What the fuck did I do? How am I going to live without you? What is the point of all of this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come to me ten years later? She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. 
I can't let her run away from me like you once did. So they're obviously talking about me. But I thought this was my grandpa. Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. It's probably a, it's probably about time I talk to Grandpa. What's going on here? This is crazy, bro. This is Grandpa's room. You'd be like, oh, really? A secret door? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, golly gosh, Grandpa, are you there? Yes. Uh, something happened. A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by someone. I don't think it's Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the corner. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contained some psychotic things to say the least. What? That's insane. Maybe the, the police arrested the guy leaving the, the letters in a hidden room? What, wait, what? I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming up ASAP. I cannot stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember of the person you bought this place from? That definitely is the could be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... Are you serious? My phone ran out of a battery and I didn't bring the charger with me. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Oh, so uh, Grandpa sounds a little bit less sus. He basically he bought the house from the from the the husband. Gramps does seem kind of sus, though. I can't lie. Oh, the music stopped. Why do I have a bad feeling about? I'm going through here. The car should still be there. I went out around the back. Go back inside. Just made a Twitch account to follow you there. <laughs> Thank you, Arash, brother. Thank you so much, man. That means a lot, bro. Thank you very, very much. Let's head back inside, shall we? I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. Now you want to search for a weapon. It's been two days. Two days. And you want to now search. And you want to look in Grandpa's office? You have a whole kitchen. Wait, what? Why can't- Okay, I can't pick that up. Grandpa has chips? Bro, there's an obvious key. There's nothing of use. The key? Okay. Does Grandpa have another secret room? Any more secret rooms, Grand- That has to be Grandpa, right? Oh no. Someone's at the door. Hello from Norway. Hello, Ina.
Was the chair always broken? Now I think that chair was always broken. Who do you think it is at the door? Liam? The other guy, the mysterious man, or Grandpa? It's not one. Ooh. Hi. Sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Of course you did. You were the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it's creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it, in hopes that it would take you back to him to make him feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. Oh. So Liam thinks he's got this whole fucking plan. All right, of scaring me so that I come back to him. And it fucking, it worked. Or did it work? Because my logic wasn't I was gonna go back to him to feel safe. My logic was one dumbass takes out the other dumbass. So it, it, I get, it didn't work on me, but that would work on people to be honest. As psycho as that is. It all makes sense. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you now leave, please? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. No, but I, my logic with picking up the phone wasn't to to make him, you know, to go back to him to feel safe. It was to to get this this dumbass to come and fight against this dumbass to be who can be the ultimate creep. And whilst they were fighting, I would run away. So I outbrained. I outbrained it. Make sure the door's locked. Door's locked. Really? It's nice already? Yeah, I I don't know how long that conversation was. Yeah, now it makes sense how you got a number? No, I agree. Okay. I think it's time we go to bed. Uh, I would like to say we have not eaten or had water in two days. We bought soda, milk, chips, and cereal as our diet. Wait, did that come from the bedroom door? What? You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, and the police think they got the person behind this. You don't know where I am. There is nothing that can stop me anymore. What? What do I do? I know. If I follow down the path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that will help me? I think he's living in the basement. I've locked him in the house. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you better not be chasing me. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, fuck me. There's a car here. This is definitely Liam's car. Oh, it's Liam. It's still Liam? Wait. What the hell? Grandpa is a liar. 
You were telling me Grandpa didn't know about an underground tunnel two minutes away from his house. Huh? And Molly Rose, I, th I think I read that one. That's... Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this? That's a photo of me in the bath. That's a photo of me in the car. Can I just say one thing? Right? You guys doubted me. Do you not remember that? Laughing at my plan. What did I say? It could work. Two dumbasses like cutting each other out. What happened? Huh? One dumbass killed the other dumbass. So now instead of two dumbasses, there's only one I have to deal with. I mean, the, the one I have to deal with is a serial killer, but my logic logic, I got it right. They took each other out. <laughs> Boy math. <laughs> oh God. Okay, there's a coffin over here. I think these are what remains of Ashley. What a sick and twisted individual her husband was. I don't even want to know what he wants to do to me. So her husband's the one that's trying to kill me. The, the ex-house owner's husband. See, look, you're telling me Grandpa didn't fucking know this was under the house. Thank you, Inez. Where's the head? It was upstairs. You're taking the piss. It's the cashier. The cashier is the serial killer. Okay, can I just say, right? We've only met three people in this story so far. And all of them are psychos. So, it was you who's been sending me the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that, mean I, that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for this. No. No, I have to run before it's too late. I hear the police outside. police arrived on the scene just in time thanks to grandpa so the grandpa was actually good there's no way he hurried back home after the abrupt ending to, to Kate's phone call with him when he arrived at the home he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen he got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened he called the police instantly and they made it just in time the relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved, you wonder? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a strange folk following her from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and they'd actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate, ended up getting... Wait, 
almost Kate? Wait, the psychopath who killed his... Oh, who... Okay, okay. I thought it meant almost Kate got fucking life sentence. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep throughout every day. She finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Man, that's some trauma. I can't lie. Poor Ashley, man. Oh, Ashley? Yeah, poor Ashley and poor Kate. That's so sad. But what a great grandpa. All right. The, what a great grandpa. And honestly, what a great game. I really enjoyed the story of that.